Hello peoples, welcome back to another episode of Sky Factory, episode 51. So I'm just screwing around here in the deep dark looking at stuff, whatever there is to be had, and I went straight out from the lava pool, pillar thing, the lava, and I found this deep dark hole in the ground. Not sure where it goes or what is at the bottom, but there it is. Just gonna explore a little bit. Oh man, this looks very dangerous. Hello, creeper. Creepy place, isn't this? Oh, sorry. <laughs> I didn't think you would fall. Okay. What else is down here? Wow, I think that's a world hole. Open to the void. Okay. Hearing noises. Oh, it's a bat flapping. And who is this? It's a skeleton. You wanna scare me? Okay. Let's light that up. Let's light this up. And there are diamond ores down here. Redstone. Let's see lapis. Let's see a blitz. Blizz. Blitz. And there is an open hole in the bedrock. Okay. There you go. That is the deep dark underneath side. I guess you could find more holes this way, but man is it really dark and spooky. So this way I can see what kind of ores are at the bottom layers. Lapis, redstone, gold, coal. Wait, that doesn't look quite like gold. Yellow right. Ooh, I need that for something later. What else? Iron, this stuff, ferrous, ferrous. Hello diamonds. Uh, silver, more ferrous. Up here we have tin. That is more yellow right. Did I hear another? I did hear another skeleton. There we go. Let me push F7. Wow. See, this shows all the places where mobs could spawn. And I don't want that. I'm all out of torches. Oh well, looks like I'm going back. Okay, here's today's chance cube. Also, I had a creeper sneak up on me as I was putting my stuff away to break this. Uh, apparently for the last one, when the ceiling broke away, I forgot to replace it and there's actually spawnable locations up there for mobs. I put a torch up here, so it's fine now. Alright, now let's break this chance cube and we can get underway for today's episode. Play it loud. Oh, yay! Another one. I had this before. It's a disc from 99 lives. Oh, a new one! I haven't heard this before. Um, okay, platform's looking good. I guess I will use actual cobblestone blocks to fix the ceiling. That back here. Grab all my stuff. Yes. Put all my stuff back on. It goes there, there, there. Three, four. It goes here. It goes here. One. Blocks. No, wait, this goes here. Where does the blocks go in that slot? And all I have to do is. And. Good? Good. Okay, we're good. Now, let's see. Today's episode is the thing. That's right. We're doing the thing today. The deep dark is deep and dark and darkly deep and scary. Let's see. Oh, yeah. I did some work on my house. I built a little kitchen for myself. It's a fridge. You can actually open its inventory and look in it. Trash can actually deletes items. See if I'll, I'll shift click this cobblestone. It goes in there. It's gone forever. I'll pick this up and put it in there. It's gone forever. Fun stuff. And these cabinets have all kinds of inventories. Not this kitchen sink. Uh, well, you're not missing much. There's only like cleaning supplies. Let's see. What's here? Different kind of cabinets. Stove. Oven. You can actually remove this stove and put it elsewhere. Kind of weird how it, the parts are sold separately like that. There's a range hood. Anyways, house is coming along slowly, but it is coming along. The book, yes. Today's episode, I'm going to explore another dimension. I did this already. The last millennium. I have no idea what this place is or, well, anything about it other than the block I need to use to get there. Oh, and when I returned from the deep dark, I spawned on top of the deep dark block. So I guess I can use that when 
designing my dimension platform. Okay, and I already have the materials ready for uh, the Millennium thing. All this stuff, I think. Should be all that stuff. So, let's see. Uh, Millen. Not mil Not Millen. Millen. There we go. Portal to the last millennium. It's like the deep dark block in that you craft a bunch of things and you make it into the thing and I guess you right click and enter the last millennium. So I need a clock, four burnt quartz, and four carved eminence stone. Clock is easy, burnt quartz is easy. You just smelt a block of quartz in a furnace or some kind of cooking block. And carved eminence stone is easy. Four stone, purple, magenta dye, and one ender pearl makes four. So let's do the else. We got four of those. Uh, let's make a clock. Oh, you can also use aluminum brass. Let's make that. And quartz is going to have to be cooked in this. There we go. So we can wait for that and listen to. Eh, uh, nah, I'll just put this away. Don't have time to listen to it right now. Uh, right there, to tell myself, listen to this later. And I have a disc in here already. I like to put things away in their place just because I don't like having a really full inventory. Let's pick up some crops while we wait. Shouldn't be too long. That, that, that. I need some more quartz seeds, but actually kind of expensive. Let me see. Uh, get this record seed. You require the blue stuff, so I need, let's see, nine more spots and four Imperio means 36 Imperio. Do I have that much? I do. Oh, I could make nine more quartz essence. But I don't really need it since I have all the quartz I need for this last millennium block. Oh well. But it is good to know that I have that much Imperio. Uh, where was I? This stuff. Okay, now we have all the blocks we need for the last millenni millennium. I keep saying millennium. It's not like my accent or whatever. Okay, that's all we need. No unstable ingots, no risk of exploding. This looks kind of cool. Now, where to put this? I'm recording this episode right after last one, so I uh, haven't built any extra platforms yet. I guess I'll put this next to the uh, nether portal on that side because deep dark is on this side and the next step in the achievement book is actually travel to the end I don't know how to do that because it requires uh, really really lucky chances from a legendary loot bag from the mob grinder or uh, some magic botania stuff to one of the mods you have to like toss in some stuff let me see end end portal frame yeah, Gaia Spirit. Apparently you summon a, like a Gaia boss or something and it drops that. It just requires two obsidian and one of these. But it only makes one end portal frame. So I need 12 of these. Yikes. For the whole thing. Unless I can get them some other way that I don't know. Okay, here we go. Let's jump. Whoa. It's all smoky and creepy. Is it safe to stand here? Well, let's jump in. I see what happens. Uh oh. What's happening? Where am I? Uh -huh. Hello there? The last villager. Uh -huh. What is this place? Uh -huh. Oh. <laughs> it just looks creepy because I was standing right in the middle of it. Like I thought I thought it was like the entire dimension <laughs> look. Okay, so hello? You got a sink here. You got a light. I, I guess you're doing good for yourself. I, I don't think there's anything else here. I'm at zero zero and Y sixty five. What if I interact with him? So I can give him nothing and get nothing. All right. Pick this up. Put it there and take this. Thank you, sir. Uh. Okay. What am I supposed to do here? Can I give him anything at all? Uh, he doesn't like that. He says, "Huh, uh, 
Does this do anything? No, it just opens my options. Let me look up the last millennium to see if, if there's anything useful or interesting. Okay, so apparently this is all there is. Here's the last villager, a cauldron, and a lamp. That's it. Goodbye. <laughs> and I think it's a reference to uh, the end of time in Chrono Trigger. It's kind of quiet here. Okay, well, I did it. Achievement done. Good job, self. Uh, no dangers. Apparently, things can still spawn, and there's a layer of bedrock under this. Yeah. Okay. Nice to meet you. Goodbye. Oh, that wasn't terribly exciting, but there it is. Okay. Well, I guess I can take that off in the old achievement book. Oh yeah, I also forgot to mention, but you've obviously probably noticed by now, I moved the bookcase indoors to my house. Which is not technically indoors, since I've only got, like, partial a partial wall, not even a wall behind it. Uh, last millennium. Now the end. Ugh, I'm not sure what to do here. I might have to delve into Botania and get the Gaia Spirit thing. L let me see what that requires. Okay, so I have to apparently summon the Gaia Guardian, which drops uh, Gaia Spirits. But I don't know. And it's apparently an endgame thing in Botania. So, like, jeez, I don't know if there's an easier way to get this. Travel to the end. I know this is a custom world with nothing in it, so there's probably no actual end dungeon that has spawned. Uh, let me see if I can get lucky from my legendary chests over here. End portal blocks? Nope. No. So what I was wondering is if I can use an Eye of Ender. So if it'll fly somewhere and tell me, hey, if you go this way, then you can find an end portal, an actual end portal. Take one of these, combine the two. One, two. Now if I use this and it flies off somewhere, there is an end portal somewhere. And if there's no end portal in the world, I don't know, I guess it'll just sit there. I'll just fly up here so I can see it. Uh, I'm right clicking, click, click, click. It's not doing anything. That has not happened before. What if I do this? Go forth! Seek out thine end portal. Eh. You do nothing for me. Can I create end portal with this? I can create ender chests, ender generators, energized void stone. I don't want these things. Ooh, cake. That sounds yummy. Uh, de Wait a minute. Oh, I know. I think I could eat end cake to travel to the end. I've seen this before. Yes. Yes, okay. So that is a workaround. I don't have to necessarily dive into all the Batania stuff. Okay, then. Let me see. So what do I need? And cake. I need six of these, two cake, one gold apple. That's super easy. Alright, well, I guess I know what I'm doing next episode. Traveling to the end, and I might defeat the Ender Dragon, which is easy because I got, like, invincible armor and I can fly around and pelt him with arrows. Alright, well, if you enjoyed this episode, if you like The Last Millennium, leave a like. And if you want to follow along with this series or anything else on my channel, feel free to subscribe or check out my playlists. And until next time, be swell, stay well, and farewell.